All right. Are you ready for some rapid fire yeah. questions? Yeah, now the yeah. rapid fire questions you can give however long answers, but you're ready. Okay. All right. Uh, Chris Grimes Gord, do you regret completing your CPA? No, not at all. No, not for a second. Do you want, do you want rapid fire answers or do you want like full? Whatever, answers? whatever you want to give. Um, well, there, there's a, but there, if it's a, yeah, there, with, with a designation, there's a level of credibility that, that you show up to every meeting with. Uh, and, yeah. uh, and some people think that the, you know, accountants suck and we don't like them. Uh, but for the most part, it's a really well-regarded one. So yeah, I, not for a second. Well, now we have like the, if you don't like accountants, like you can go FTX it, right? So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. What advice do, would you give for current DAL um, management learners? They can be accounting majors or management learners in general. Uh, oh, that's broad. That's broad. I know. Like, um, so I would say get your education done and do as well as you can during it. Um, and then, and then figure out what you bring to the table, like, and, and lean into those skills. Um, yeah. Lean into, are you, or did, like, do you resonate with what we're talking about? And you're an ex athlete who wants to not be a really technical accountant and who can translate that. Cause that's what I did. I leaned into that. So I, yeah. you know, I learned as much of the technical as I, as I can, but man, you don't want to put a IFRS 15 memo in front of me, but like it, it just won't, it won't get done very well. It will get done fine, but, or maybe you're the other way and, and you say, look, I just want to be in the weeds and I want to do the technical accounting uh, and find your kind of magic sauce, like figure out what you want to yeah. do and, and how you're going to do it well, because, you know, you're going to gravitate to, to something, but the CPA and, and accounting in general, I think is a great, great basis for, for really anything in business. I love hearing you say that because a number of students will like confess to me that they're like, I don't really like doing debits and credits. And I was like, cool. Yeah. Do you think I do? <laughs> and they're just like, what? And I'm like, it's a way to communicate. It's a way to trans like yeah. transfer something. And it's important, but it's not like, it's not your destiny for 20 years if you don't want it to be like yeah. to, to debit and credit or like write a IFRS 15 memo. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely agree. Hey, um, how do you know when it's the right time to move on um, from jobs? Because as you've disclosed, you've had a, had a few, not a lot, yeah. like just, you know. Yeah, I, I, um when the right opportunity comes up, like, like I've never made a move for money. Um, like it's never been about, it's never been about like financial reward. It's always been about what's the right fit for me. Um, and so, so, you know, starting in Vancouver and then going to Calgary at BDO and then going to PwC, it was, you know, it, it just, it, you sort of feel it like, and, and that's that refinement of, Hey, what do you want to do in five years is, well, I don't want to do political science because I don't want to be a lawyer. And then it, you know, I don't want to be an auditor and I don't want to be an internal audit and I don't want to be, you know, specific financial reporting. So that, so yeah, it, I don't know if there's a way, but I, I do think people look to move too quick typically. And, and that's from my time at the firm is, you know, you get designated and, hey, I want to go make 20 or 30% more at Suncor, you know, or whatever that company is. And that's a big thing in Calgary, right? You got oil and gas companies that pay really well. Uh, that the firms don't keep up with. Uh, and, you know, where are you going to learn? Like, what what do you want to learn? And where are you going to learn? And who are you going to work with? So. Yeah. Um, and what I'm hearing is too, like being, like going to something and not from something, which. Yeah, that's a great I way. Feel like if, yeah. And thank you. Because like, I, I've definitely done both. But the ones that I've like, have resonated me with was when I was going to something, yeah, right? Yeah. And it was like, oh, I, you know, I kind of put a pin in this, you know, but I, I, I didn't look too far too fast. Like you take your time. Yeah. 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 And the, I'm a, look, I'm a big firm believer because that's the way that I came up. Yeah. Um, and the, the thing I loved about the firm is that there's so many people who can teach you so many different things. And so if you're in core assurance at a firm, whether it's a big or small or midsize, you can go do something else. You want to do a bit of tax, you want to do a bit of consulting, you want to do, like there's so many different avenues and the firm has so many ways to learn. And so, yeah, I, I like the firm because I could I could spend a lot of time and try a lot of different things. Uh, but I spent a lot yeah. of time. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, you're kind of like, you have to try out a few different careers before you have to like pick one. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good point.